Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Rick's Vlogs. I have my wife Jerry uh, filming for me real quick. Uh, what I'm doing here, if you guys, uh, Jerry, if you can zoom into this. Uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to raise my pH on my tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some soda ash. And um, it's basically to raise the pH. And uh, they say, oh, too much powder. They say that using raising up your pH just by a little bit just by a little bit will make your corals grow a little bit quicker so what I'm gonna do real quick I put it in this glass pan and I'm gonna bake this for an hour at 200 degrees and the reason why we bake it is because we want to remove we just want sodium carbonate and right now, if this is sodium bicarbonate. So what we're gonna do is baking it, we're gonna remove that bi out of it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh-oh, I don't think it's gonna fit in this pan. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, it is, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna put it in there. Sorry, my pan or my oven's a little bit dirty. So I'm gonna put it at around 200 degrees around right there and I'm gonna bake it for an hour so 60 minutes complete just put it on bake mode and just leave it so yeah that's how you make soda ash guys and uh, hopefully I can get my corals to grow a lot quicker and maybe make some uh, swaps with somebody you know frag them with something else but um, yeah this is a, just this is a quick video on how to make soda ash. So after that, we can start dosing it. So what I'm going to do is probably, I'm, since I have a small tank, I'm probably going to use a tiny, tiny bit, like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. Just that much to increase it by maybe just a little bit. So uh, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If not, hit the down, you know, thumbs down button. I mean, hit the like button, of course, obviously. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.